Hi Gemini, Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Bounce and this is your mid-month tarot reading for September 2018. Now just remember it is a general reading. Take from it what you will, leave what does not resonate. If you want a personal reading with me attuned to your own energy and circumstances, the questions you'd like are most answered, I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. Now I will let you know that the coupon code is still running for September, so you can get $15 off a 45 minute extended personal reading with me, or you can use it on the package that includes that reading, plus the distance Reiki energy healing session, yeah? So the coupon code is gonna pop up in this corner over here in a minute, yeah? All you need to do is take that along to the booking form, pop it in when prompted. It is case sensitive, yeah? And you'll get your $15 off. And uh, I'll put the booking form link here yeah so you, you've got it um now also i've got a new ascended masters light worker community group that i'm building we've already got i think 111 members in just two weeks which is pretty awesome so if you're thinking about being a light worker in any shape or form that that takes or you're already working in the field so it can be anything from nutrition to fitness to yoga meditation energy healing of any sort um if you can hear any noise right now my dog's snuffling in his sleep hilarious how rude, yeah. There <laughs> she goes, she's having a dream. Oh, funny. Um, yeah, sound therapy, anything like that whatsoever. Um, come and join us in the Ascended Masters Lightworker group. We're all about uh, changing the world one person at a time, helping people get inspired, motivated, heal their soul light so they can be more empowered um, to live a more joyful life, yeah. And uh, it's to affect not only people that you want to help in your own area, but globally. So go and check that out. We've also got a new Facebook group as well that you can uh, pop in to join and connect with everyone as well. All right. So let's get started with your reading. I'll be honest with you, I did record some yesterday and I'm totally changing today the vibration. So I'm changing what we're doing with it. So if you're cross watching, this reading is going to be different to the other four. I think we did Aries through to Capricorn yesterday. So uh, Gemini, we're going to be looking at your heart and soul energy. We're going to be looking at life path, life purpose, love and romance and general energies and a crowning energy from Rumi. Yeah, you get the whole shebang. I just felt like we're having a change. Yeah. All right. Sorry. First up, we're going to have a look at your heart and soul energy with Tony Carmine Salerno. Now let's see what you need to know, Gemini. And um, if you think I'm buzzing, I just came off one of the best personal readings I've done in a long time for someone and they're just going to be super stoked. Oh my God, I had, I had it all happening. Love and romance, abundance, happy family, had it all happening. Oh yeah, soulmate. Okay, let's concentrate on you, yeah? All right, so you pulled this one, it's very beautiful. And what it says is, what you are today was greatly influenced by your past thoughts and attitudes and your present thoughts and attitudes are the building blocks of your tomorrow. Therefore, be mindful and aware of your thoughts. Positive thoughts now will help you create a brighter future because every thought is a seed. And if you plant weeds, you cannot expect to harvest beautiful flowers. So true. It's about matching your positive vibration yeah, to what it is you want to draw to you. Okay. For those of you looking for a little bit of guidance in terms of life path, life purpose, uh, I'm going to check that out now. And just remember, it's a general reading. So if you wanted to change your own energy and circumstances, uh, you'd be better off to book a personal reading with me, yeah? Okay, first up. Oh, God, I'm always surprised when this one comes out. Honestly, flowers. I'm always drawn to less light. Pull it out of the deck and toss it. <laughs> That's how I feel about this card. You might feel differently. It's saying flowers bring you great joy. They can also be part of your life path, life purpose. Um, let me know if it resonates. Love to know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, you pulled the leadership card, which means taking charge of the situation. So if you're not sure in terms of your life path, life purpose, it's about stepping up and taking control of your life. Um, you're in the driver's seat at all times. You're making conscious choices in every moment, yeah? It can also mean uh, stepping out of your comfort zone into a higher level and what you're currently doing and taking more of a leadership role, looking after a team, maybe putting your resume out there for bigger jobs than you're normally done. Mm -hmm. If you're in business, it's about setting goals and targets to uh, follow, yeah? Solid steps. Just know you pulled it. This literally flew out. If you think of a change in career, you're divinely protected at this time. You've got the support card. 
your life purpose is fully supports you, um, which also speaks to your abundance as well. Okay, I'll pull you two more. Mm. For some of you, your life path, life purpose involves teaching, yeah, teaching young children to learn. So in any way or shape that takes, beautiful. We do want to create strong, empowered next generations, yeah. All right, this one wants to come out for you. Oh, wow, right next to that. Double message for those of you. Uh, your life purpose involves healing, teaching, and healing children. Helping, 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 healing, teaching children. Wow, wow. Nothing like double confirmation right next to each other. Okay, let's have a look at love and romance for you. What is it that Gemini needs to know? And if you're in an Aries or to, an, to a Capricorn and you missed out on the love part of your reading, yeah, you did. We have to book a, you'll have to book a love reading with me, yeah? Yeah, all right. Okay. So first up, Gemini, you've pulled. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. This can go in terms of whether you're single, looking for love, or you're in a love relationship. Uh, the red flags can trip us up if we ignore them. And often if you're in a place where you really want love, you can, um, and I'm going to say emotionally needy. I'm a transformational coach as well, so I'll just say it how it is, yeah? Um, if you come from that place, you'll often ignore the red flags because you want love so much, but they will trip you up later on. Yeah, they pretty much derail a relationship. It's about being discerning in love choices as well. Um, and also speaking up, yeah, when things come up that bother you, and why do they bother you? Well, if it's a red flag, it's usually to do with your values. Is the values conflict? It might be behaviours that you're uncomfortable with. Um, you might have weak boundaries, so you're not putting healthy boundaries in place. They might be overstepping your boundaries, yeah? Um, so a red flag, first time it happens, give them the benefit of the doubt, could be just having an off day. Uh, second time it happens, it's a signal for you to be wary of it and be mindful. And if it happens three times, it's who they are, or it's a behaviour they've gotten into. That's the time to have a discussion, yeah? Or figure out whether or not it's really worth um, your time and effort. Mm -hmm. It's clearly not going to apply to everybody, but it's sage advice right across the board, really. Okay, what else do you need to know? Have a clear message, please. Everything of yours wants to come out in two or threes. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so the message you've got is to retreat. So whether you're single or coupled up, if you're single, it's about taking time out from the love relationship scene. You're just having time for self, your friends, um, quiet time, free yourself up, yeah. In terms of couples, it's about taking that time together, spending that one-on-one -on -one time together. If you've got children, like, oh, get a babysitter and have some romantic date time or a weekend away. Um, and it's also about planning, you know, maybe a weekend away, maybe just a date. Time to disconnect from the world. Okay. Two here. You pulled the forgiving and learning card, and this is about releasing and healing from the past. It's learning the lessons out of challenges. Um, you know, love's, love's never a smooth road. There's always ups and downs. And, um, you know, if you've not put yourself out there for love, well, then you wouldn't have been burnt by love. But most of us have at some point, yeah? It's about learning the lesson within that because there's often a, a gift within it. Um, if you think of it that way, it's about, you know, we're all responsible for the choices we make in love partners too. You can't just blame the other person. You chose them. Yeah, you chose them. Consciously chose them. Um, you're not responsible for their behaviours, not so, not whatsoever, but it's about learning about more about yourself and perhaps it's, perhaps it's just about knowing more fully about what it is you want in a love relationship from those learning experiences but it can also be knowing that there might be karmic stuff there from your family background that's holding you back in love and tripping you up that is not yours to carry but it is yours it is your responsibility to look into it identify it and let it go yeah it will totally free you up oh just know just know it's safe for you to love, Gemini. Open your heart up so you can receive the greatest love of all. Yeah, the highest energy from it. Um, it's about letting down the walls. And if you're on here and you're going to put a comment going, oh, God, I'm not letting anybody in my door ever again. Hello. 
signal you need to do some heart healing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got massive walls up. You know who you are. Mm. Also pull the attraction card. So it's about being present, yeah. Um, being fully present in the moment, enjoying those moments, whether if, even if it's just by yourself, it's going to raise your vibration, draw people to you. Um, it's about not having outcomes, set agendas for love relationships, going with the flow. Let's pull one more. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, a couple of meanings here. And I'm going to give you them all. I'll give, you the, I'll give you the worst case scenario first. In terms of um, pay attention to the red flags, watch out for the people that are saying they're single and they're not. Yep. They often take their wedding ring off and tell you that they're, they're not attached. They are. They are. Um, watch out for that. Be discerning. Um, it can also mean that the next relationship that's coming in is a keeper. It can also mean that if you're in a committed relationship, it's leading to a deeper level of commitment, yeah. Possible proposal on the horizon. Okay, let's have a look at your general energies with the Goddess Guidance deck and see what comes out for you, Gemini. Oh, it's two here. All right. You've pulled like shimmy, bright future. It's saying stop worrying, everything's going to turn out fine. Often this means new opportunities coming in. Um, underneath retreat, you've also pulled Maui, Mother Earth. This is getting your feet on Mother Earth. Um, time for self. It's a great way to raise your vibration. Absolutely. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because I... Um, I take you on my walks and my hikes and uh, share a lot more inspirational stuff for you than I do on um, personal stuff too than I do on YouTube. I'll pop the handle on here. Yeah, you can check it out. Oh, wow. Okay. When you do the forgiving and the learning, this is what's coming in, Gemini. True love, Guinevere. It's going to open you up to love. Absolutely. The universe is trying to send a great love to you. Be open to receiving it. It can also mean if you've newly met somebody and you're wondering if it's the one, well, hello, true love. Hello, wedding. Yep, yep. Oh, wow. Okay, this is going for a smile on your dial. Not only true love, right next to that, you've got abundance coming in, prosperity, universe, not only trying to pour a great love on you, they're also trying to pour abundance on you. You've got to match your vibration though. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to put out to the universe what you want to draw to you. And if you're sitting there nay saying, going, oh, yeah, I've heard that before. My love's not coming in. My, my abundance not coming in. No, it's not. Because you've just blocked it. <laughs> Unblock it. Raise your vibration. And no, I have not been drinking. I'm just on my happy pills today. Yeah. I'm just happily vibrating. My own inner light. Yeah. Uh, and just know. You've got Rihanna Sorceress. You're a magical person. You can create what it, whatever it is that you want to create in your life. How do you do that? You let go of the fear and the doubt. Um, you step into your empowerment. You follow your heart space. What lights you up joyfully, whether it's in love and romance or your life path, life purpose. Can even just be your pastimes. Yeah, things you enjoy doing. Totally up to you. All right, let's pull you one more. I'm not sure if you actually even need one more, to be honest. You've got such a good reading. When it comes to the wedding decision, it says, trust your inner wisdom, Athena. Um, take the steps you're guided to take. It's also sitting under the card for children in terms of life path, life purpose. If that speaks to you, then follow it. If it doesn't, then it doesn't, yeah. Trust your inner wisdom in love. Make discerning choices for yourself. Okay, let's pull you some specific guidance from the Energy Oracle. Let's see what comes up for you, Gemini. What is it that Gemini needs to know? That one wants to fly out. Oh, yeah. Under bright future. Hello, girls. Look what's waiting for you. Singles out there. Beautiful man holding a heart. For guys, this is you opening up to love when you do that work around forgiving and learning. 
up your vibration and track that love in. Yeah. And just know that some of you are on a journey of transformation. Beautiful journey. It's also about being present in your own life journey. Yeah. Just going with the flow. Living life as it presents itself to you in each moment. Mm. Underneath the giving and learning, you've got the second chakra, Archangel, Ariel. Um, you've also got true love between that. I'm going to say to you, um, I do a lot of distance Reiki energy healing, yeah? An advanced Isui Reiki practitioner, yeah? Most people hold all the past stuck emotions, not only in their heart chakra, but in this chakra, the second chakra, the sacral chakra, yeah? So it's about releasing it, um, releasing the past stuff to free yourself up. Um, you need to do that in order to bring in this brand new love, yeah, this new, yeah, or even transform your existing relationship into a beautiful love relationship. Because that stuff can just hold you stuck, yeah. Pull the envy card. It's attached to your prosperity. It's also attached to its safety love. This is about being envious of what other people have got, whether it's their love relationships, whether it's their money, their abundance, their car, their house, the things that they're good at that possibly you're not good at. Um, when it comes up, it's the shadow side of self. Look for the lesson within it. What's coming up for you? It can mean that you want to be treated better, respected better, loved more, appreciated more. Yeah. If that's the case, you need to speak up and communicate that and put clear boundaries in place with people or tell people what you expect in love relationships, what you want from love relationships. It's also tied to your abundance. So it's also possibly thinking about what's actually realistic about in terms of your abundance that you actually want, yeah, to bring it into your life. Because everyone's path and journey is different to what they want. All right, what else does Gemini need to know? You pull the yin and the yang card. So yin is receiving, yang is taking action. It's about balancing the two, knowing when you're tired to take time out, knowing when to take action towards your goals and dreams, knowing when to take action towards love. All right, let's pull you one more. And for some of you, garden and the gate, procrastination. This is about a love relationship, whether or not you're going to pop the question because it's sitting under the wedding card. Um, whether or not you're going to accept the proposal. It's also a little bit of procrastination around your life path, life purpose. Um, the message here is sitting under inner wisdom is key. Trust your trust what your heart space is telling you. Um, garden in the gate means that you're standing behind the gate in this place of security rather than stepping through it yeah, and being empowered. Because behind the gate, everything opens up to you. Yeah. Okay, let's pull you a crowning energy to finish off your reading. I've got the roomy deck today. Oh, let's see what comes out for you. What is it that Gemini needs to know? There we go. Oh, no. Clear message, please. Too many cards then. What is it that Gemini needs to know? Mmm, beautiful. You've got the blessing of Zara. And I'll just pull the guidance up for you. If it's the first time you've watched one of my readings, oh, open straight up. Uh, the message can be a bit long, but it, they're so beautiful. They really are. And let me show it to you one more time before we get started. Look at that. Almost matches the uh, background of what I've got behind me. And what it says, Gemini, is let go of thought. Don't take it into your heart. You are naked and thought is like ice. You use thought to seek release from suffering and pain, while thought is the cause of your suffering and pain. The realm of creation is outside the scope of thought, O foolish one. See the opus and behold the beauty. Look in the direction from which the images flow. See the brook that causes the wheel to turn, Rumi. Sometimes these can be quite quirky and a bit obtuse. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And it says, I wish to pull that false confection from your mouth. Oh, I know. You will open your mouth even wider to scream like a terrible cry of a toddler, denied. But the moment that you open your mouth wide and draw breath to bemoan the outrageous travesty of your loss, I shall shove my divine finger dripping with nectar 
into your gaping mouth and I'll let you suckle then surprised and contented by the sweetness that surpasses all other sweets. When we are hungry, we reach for what food is available. If we are starving, we may gorge upon what is before us only to find ourselves overfed, undernourished and in the most uncomfortable and dissatisfied state. Your soul needs better quality food. It has been detoxing. You've been shedding old thoughts, feelings, pains and struggles. Memories of the past have been flooding out of your soul like parasites being expunged. And now your soul thus cleansed is in need of genuine nourishment to restore it to its full radiance and beauty. Love will feed your hungry soul, nothing less shall suffice. No sweet talking charmer hell bent on seducing and moving on will make the grade. No, it has to be nothing less than genuine romancing by the great beloved to feed, comfort and nurse you into radiance. Only that divine finger dipped in heavenly honey can be taken in by your soul now. All else will seem as empty junk by comparison. But can we summon the strength to overcome habitual and mindless attempts at feeding on lesser substances? Oh yes, the great beloved shall storm through the kitchen with military precision, clear out the cupboards for only the best, finest, most decadent and delicious shall do for you. This oracle comes with special guidance for you. You have been given a blessing of Zara, of radiance, of brightness. This blessing has a purpose. It is to clear out that which would obstruct your full unfoldment to support the divine jewel of your soul in shining. You've been given an opportunity supported by life, by the earth, by the grace of the divine beloved to shed toxins from your being. They may be physical and they may equally be of emotional, psychic or psychological origin. They may come from this or another lifetime and you may consciously understand what is being released or you may not. If you are sensitive, you may feel the symptoms of detoxification on a physical level, even if what you are releasing is emotional or psychological in nature. You are encouraged to complete the sacred honouring ritual to stay adequately hydrated and to be moderate rather than excessive in your approach. Give your body and mind time to rest and replenish so that the blessing can be fully received. And if you've been unwell or struggling to let go of an issue, this oracle comes as a portent of imminent healing back to good health and of release of the issue into resolution and divine radiance. It is only a matter of timing and that timing is imminent. This oracle also brings you the message that if something seems to be leaving your life, something painful to release, it is because it's no longer healthy for you or no longer supporting of life for you. There is something more loving and beautiful awaiting. Do not try to feast upon scraps. Stop scraping in the dirt for stale breadcrumbs. Rise up and move towards the seat at the heavenly table gleaming before you for a greater feast awaits your attendance. Beautiful. And there's a sacred honouring ritual here to finish off your reading, Gemini, and it says, Say aloud, I call upon Al-Zahara, the divine, merciful one, shining with grace and roomy, who loves me without condition. I call upon the healing angels and I say the following declaration. With grace, I accept the shedding of that which no longer is worthy of me. I allow myself to release with merciful grace what no longer feeds my soul with the truest of nourishment. I am open to receive through unconditional love, healing, support, intervention and protection that I may shine with the divine radiance bestowed upon me in this blessing. I surrender attachment to scraps and I open my mind, body and soul to the great feast. In profound gratitude, I bow to the compassion that leads me to the banquet of love now, so be it. Lie down and rest for as long as you need. Healing will happen during this time, so try to rest for at least five to 25 minutes more if possible. And following your rest, you might also like to have a shower or bath using a handful of regular salt as a gentle body scrub to support your psychic and physical cleansing process. Enjoy this as an act of self-love. You have finished your sacred honoring ritual. Wow, such a great reading, Gemini. 
If you like this, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome. Uh, I do read all the comments, I do respond. We'll put a disclaimer on there. If you're going to be negative, just recognise the vibration that you're in. Take your booty outside and go and balance and ground yourself and then you're most welcome to come back because I just don't do negative vibration at all. Yeah. Don't forget if you want to uh, get a personal reading with me, grab your coupon code to get $15 off the 45 minute extended reading or you can take it off the package that includes that reading and a distance Reiki energy healing session from me. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.